Hey everybody, Monica with Meek Magnet, and today I want to take a minute to tell you about our new Meek Magnet carry bag. So this has been a long thought out process to make something that can house both your magnetic and your nano hole technology armor and can fit anything from the JK all the way up to the JT. So let me tell you about some of the features on this. So the first thing you'll find is there's an adjustable strap. So this thing is actually pretty cool. It's designed to so carry it like this or put it in the back like so and it's pretty handy and then you can just close this right up and make this a short handle for storage. The next you'll find a top handle. So the top handle is, is pretty good for, you know, just sliding this in and out of something. Finally, you'll find buckles on the bottom. And so these are so that when this is all rolled together, that when these are closed, this won't fall, fall out. So before to open it, you're going to want to undo the buckles. And then that brings us to our buckles in the front. And so these also have an adjustable strap, so depending on how wide you roll your armor, that's kind of, you adjust these to that. So let's open this bag up. bag rolls out into a nice almost table size and it's got a couple of blocks to keep everything tucked in the side and then one thing you'll find that's really cool is it's got two sheets of short two sheets of medium and two sheets of long and you're gonna wonder what is this for and so I'll tell you right now so the way that we designed this was for the biggest armor that you could fit in here would be the JT Gladiator. And so the intention is you have two sides of driver's side and passenger where you'll start with your longest panels like your truck bed and then you'll go into the rear part, the rear doors, rear quarter panels and then the front which will be the front doors and the front quarter panels. And so this is designed where you put your armor, whether it's magnetic or nanopole technology, image side down. Now that's really important because once you roll this together, the magnet or the gel side will be rolled into the center. So when you unroll this, if you've had this stored for a really long time and maybe, you know, the, it was a bit of a tight roll, when you unroll it, now you don't have to worry about taking the time to lay it out flat because either the magnet or the gel will curve into your vehicle. So then it kind of uh, takes a little bit of time off the installation reading. All right, now that you've got your bag opened up, you're gonna unroll all of the sheets to the left side. I'm gonna start with the very biggest panel. So for my Gladiator, it's gonna be the truck bed panel. And I'm gonna lay it image side down with the gel side, the sticky side up, and I'm gonna move it as close to that seam where the sheets are sewn into the, the bottom layer of the bag as possible. And then I'm gonna lay out some of my other panels. Now, while you're lying these down, just keep in mind that once you start rolling the bag closed, things are going to have a tendency of wanting to shift a little bit forward. So what I recommend is give each panel just a few inches of space in between each other so once you roll it, then they're not going to encroach on each other. Once you do that, then you're going to take your bottom sheet and you're just going to unroll it onto the whole bag, like so cover all the panels. I like to just press this down so that everything is nicely adhered. And then now you're ready for the next layer of paneling. Okay, now I'm gonna do the next side of my truck panels. So my rear truck panels, my rear quarter panels, everything laid out flat, image side down, nicely spaced in between each other. Now I'm gonna unroll the next layer of sheets. Just make sure that is all nicely covered. And now I'm ready for the rear doors. All right, here I've jumped ahead to the very last set of panels and the very last sheet. And so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unroll the last sheet. Oops. And pressing everything down. Next, you're gonna pull in the two side flaps. There's a little piece of Velcro here to help them stay together. And this just helps everything from coming up sideways. The final thing is you're gonna roll this this way. Now it doesn't have to be a very tight roll. And ideally it's just as loose as the armor naturally wants to stay on the armor. Okay, once you get to the end, now this is where the side buckles come in. Just like so. And then here is where those 
two bottom buckles are. So this is when you pick this bag up. If you don't have these, the contents of this might kind of slide out. So this is where you'll secure the bottom. And voila. Here is your meat magnet armor safely stored inside a bag that's no bigger than a camping chair or a tent. This can be stored vertically or lay somewhere. Just don't put any compression or pressure or boxes on top of it, but that's all it is. Thank you for watching.